Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial and this is this tutorial is going to be about a little trick that I can show you how you can make your output window to show not just a, a multi-element fixture but also the uh, using a one button to control the whole fixture or the whole group and this is useful when you need to control sometimes some elements of the fixture but in some cases you would like to control all elements together and it's quite straightforward but I'll show you little tricks that you need to know in order to be able to do it without any problems okay so in my case I have uh, one of these fixtures so it's a Chauvet Nexus 5x5 panel and what I do have here is I have the fixture with all 25 elements where I can select each element individually you can see it here or I can select the whole fixture together or I can have another variation of the same fixtures but with a different group selection uh, element selection like that so in some cases when people try to do it it doesn't work for them so and I decided you know what let me show you how to do it correct way so first of all what you need to do is in order to select individual elements of the fixtures you need to make sure that when you patch your fixtures here the last column here it says individual elements okay so th in some cases by default you may have the one that says duplicate so what does duplicate do is duplicate means it duplicates the whole uh, all the manipulations that you do to the all elements at the same time so that means if you're trying to select one element it will apply to all 25 elements but we don't want that we want to do it individual selection so what you need to do you need to go into the patch view find your fixture select the whole column and press enter it will change to the individual right what you do after that you need if you want to control each element with the individual dimmer again you can't do it with the normal fixtures uh, duplicate uh, fixtures because by default they do not have virtual dimmer in each element but we can easily fix it by selecting the whole fixture okay holding the shift button and pressing add v dim so what it's going to do is it will add virtual dimmer into each element of each fixture that means it will allow us to do individual selection okay what we do next is uh, you go to the output window okay press out you might have you might see probably something like that you press view plan use the encoder a to scroll through all the way to the left and then choose the grid for example in my case I choose grid 4 because it is not occupied then what you can do is you press set grid size and let's create a grid let's say we're going to type 40 by 20 so 40 slash 20 is going to create 40 individual uh, 40 horizontally 20 vertical grid okay then it will ask you would you like to use it as a multi-element grid so in my case I would say no because I won't like to control them all individually and I would like to enter them separately as well <clears throat> so what you do next is following so if you want to add a multi-element fixture let's say with just individual elements so in my case I know that this head the first head it's it's the head number 401 okay so if I go to the view head that fixture is see head 401 is my that fixture so if I want to just create individual elements what I can do is I can select a spot I can type 401.1 and I press enter that will create just first element of that fixture you can test it select it press like it you will see it select just the first element then for example you can select here you can type in 402 uh, 401 point two so that's a second element and it will create second four zero one point three enter and it will create third element so that means you can actually using the shift you can select two individual elements together if you would like to now control also a whole group of the fixtures with one button 
in order to do it because you're using multi-element fixtures so in the group here you need to make sure that you have selected a head with all the multi elements because there's a difference between a head which means it's the whole thing or you have a head with the multi elements because we're mixing two things i would say you need to create a, a head with all elements together as one group so in order to do that i'll press 401 point one through 25 so that means it will select elements from 1 to 25 of that head I press add add so I selected this head and I'll press record here so I have created a, a fixture a group for that particular fixture with all 25 elements in them so now all you have to do is you press copy click on it go to the output window and click anywhere on the screen so now what you've got is you've created a group control so if you press group press locate you will actually be able to select the whole group with all 25 elements or you can go and select them individually there you go you have full control the reason i showed you of course to sh uh, to do uh, all 25 elements because in some cases you actually might want to have not all 25 elements you would like to have maybe a certain element in that case you can always select let's say this head okay then you go to the view elements window and select only elements that you need you want to control so then I can select third element hold uh, actually no in this window you don't need press 15 element 23rd element and 11th element so you can see it actually selected them in the order that I've created I've selected and after that I press record and drop it here so now I've created a group with four elements now I can select copy that one drop it go to the output window and drop it here so now I can select that way and I press locate now I have sub -element. so again the the trick here is you can create a, a main group that controls all elements together you can create a separate group that controls only individual uh, elements and then you can also drop in your elements by themselves so as you can see here but some of you may say hold on Aziz but what if we would like to also drop all 25 all 25 elements of the fixture uh, as a one fixture you know like as you do when you're using multi-element selection that's not a problem at all so what you can do is you can remove those three elements press enter so I've removed them now what you do is if you go to the group window view heads you've selected your group see the 401 we've selected now if you go back to the output window select a slot where you would like your grid 5x5 five five to be created you press insert heads and then here you choose duplicate elements horizontally then you choose left to right horizontal selection orientation and there you go now you have all 25 elements created for you without any problems so here you have option to select with shift elements individually press locate can see them here or you've got your already created group elements as well uh, just uh, uh, advice so I'm running the 1920 don't worry it's alpha version however I would suggest you to download 1910 this is the latest beat available uh, right as of as, uh, at the time of me doing this tutorial and in this tutorial uh, in the 1910 version you've got more uh, access to the individual selection of the multi uh, of the elements in the multi element fixtures especially when a multiple of them of course there are other tools that's been added in the latest versions and you will be able to play for example with a grid option so when you click grid you can always say keep aspect ratio in order for the uh, for the grid not to be skewed and also you can press show symbols and press done so in that case if you come out of the grid view you will be able to see your elements of your multi-element head looking like this as a symbol so in my case you may say hold on as is but this group look different it's not the same look as of this fixture we can find 
an icon similar to that. If you go back to the group window here, so I'm using the group number 23 and 25. What I can do here is I can press shift set and I click on the group number group number 21, for example, ah, no, group number 23 and choose the fixture that resembles the one that we use. Let's say this is like a matrix, a uh, matrix five by five. And you can choose a different symbol icon for this one. Maybe it's going to be something like that. Okay. So now if you go to the output view, you will be able to see they have a different views. You can change, of course, to the different looks. So when you select them, it will actually indicate to you your intensity levels and uh, that it actually outputs. And if you want to see them with the names, then you have to choose the different version here. So you have to choose the names option here as well. But in my case, I normally prefer just to use this. Okay, so hope, hope I hope that was useful. So please enjoy using this latest beat and the latest functions. And let us know if you find something interesting. And again, thanks for your time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.